Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we will learn how to fix one very important error that often occurs when you try to activate a new environment in the Visual Studio Code Editor or VS Code Editor. Okay, so here is the error that occurs. This error is created by trying to activate the environment. Namely, what happened over here, I created the Python file, a very simple test file that will print hello world. Then I created the environment called environment1 and here is the folder structure and to activate this environment such that I can install packages, such that I can do other things, I need to activate this environment. To activate this environment, I need to execute this file and this is what I'm doing over here. And as the result, I get this message. This message is saying that the activation file cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on this system. And for more information, they give this link. However, if you follow this link, you will see that the information over there is too broad and you will not be able to easily find a solution to this problem. So let's learn how to solve this. Okay, let's start. The best strategy for solving this problem is to first understand the source of this problem. Consequently, let's reproduce this error. To do that, let's open a new command window. You can simply click on start and search for command prompt. And what I will do over here, I will go to my D drive. And over here, I will create a new folder, which will be my workspace folder. Then I will go to that folder. And inside of that folder, I will run VS Code by typing code dot. Note that this period or dot will start VS Code in this folder. Okay. Then I will create a new file. For example, the name of this file will be Python, or actually test1.py. So let's create that file and let's type, for example, something like print hello world. Simple as that. Okay, the next step is to open a terminal and over here we want to create an environment associated with this project and that will be actually in this folder. So let's do that. To do that, let's type this python -m vnv means virtual environment and environment1 or env1 for short is our environment. And now watch over here and you will see the environment folder. If you click on this folder, you will see several, several subfolders and you will see this file. Now, if you click on script, there is this script to activate this project or this environment. And we need to execute this script. So let's go back over here and let's learn how to execute this script. To activate this environment, we need to execute actually the activate file. To do that, we need to specify the relative file to that file. It is inside of environment1, is, it is inside of scripts, and the name of the file is activate. And if you run this, we will reproduce the error. The error is saying that this file cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on this system. And for more information, we need to go over here. Okay, so let's learn how to fix this error over here such that we can activate the environment. Close the VS Code editor and close the original command prompt. The next step is to actually start the Windows PowerShell. So how to do that? If you click on Start and if you search for PowerShell, you'll see this app. Don't click on this app immediately. Do the right click and click on Run as an, an administrator and click on Yes. Okay, now over here I have to make one statement and one important note. Well. Everything that I will do right now will influence my system settings. That is, I will change the global system settings that will enable me to run scripts. Now, I don't take responsibility if after running the commands I'm typing, something goes wrong on your system or a third party software is being executed. I don't take any responsibility. I'm doing this just as an instru instructional video and I assume that you will take the full responsibility. In my case, nothing went wrong and everything works fine. Okay, so what do we need to do? We actually need to 
First of all, check the execution policies. To do that, we need to execute this command. So let me now again, I will just type it, get execution, get, let's see, execution policy. Make sure that you spell it correctly. I hope that I spell this command correctly. And you can see that the execution policy is restricted. That's why we cannot execute certain scripts on our system. To change this, we need to set the execution policy and we need to type set execution policy unrestricted. This will enable us to run the particular files. So over here, you should carefully read what's written. The execution policy help protects you from scripts that you don't trust. Changing the execution policy might expose you to the security risk described in this over here, in the policies and over here. Over here, I will do yes. However, again, I don't take responsibility if something goes wrong on your system. And after that, we, we can see that something has changed. So let's now again double check the execution policy. So we again run this execution policy and we can see that it's unrestricted. This means that we will be able to run the scripts from the VS Code. Next, let's try to, again to run VS Code and to check if we can activate our script. Okay, again, so let's open a command prompt. Then let's go to D. Then let's go to test1. Let's make sure that we have our file there. Here it is, test1.py. Actually, we didn't even save it. So type code dot. And here it is. Let me just save this file by pressing Control s Now, what do we need to do here in this folder? Now, let me just close the terminal for a second so I can repeat everything again. Click over here, click on terminal, click on new terminal. We have created the environment and we need to execute this file. To do that, we simply need to run this and let's hope that this will work. And voila, here it is. We are able to successfully activate this environment. We can see that we are inside of this environment since this part over here is green. This means that we have actually activated our environment. So let's run this code. Do the right click, for example, and run Python. And you can see run Python in terminal. And you can see hello world. However, Python is currently, better to say, this code is actually not running in our environment. And we need to run it in our environment. To make sure that we are running Python in the correct environment, we need to bring this script. So let me explain how to bring this script. Press Control Shift and then press P. And then search for Python interpreter and let's click over here python select interpreter and make sure that this interpreter is being selected and now you can actually run the file you can simply click here and the file is being run okay now what is also important to observe is this message Python virtual environment was successfully activated even though environment one indicator might not be present in the terminal prompt. That is, sometimes you will not see this notation for the environment. However, the environment is still activated. And you can learn more about this by actually going to this link and by reading this thing. Activate environments in terminal using environment variables. And what is written over here? Traditionally, when working with Python environments in the terminal, you see indicators showing which Python environment is currently active. For example, you can see this. However, due to the technical limitation, you might not notice that this indicator is not modified. That is, it's either absent or you can continue to see an existing indicator like base. Nonetheless, please be assured that the environment has still been activated. And this is very important. And you can read more about this and how to make sure that actual environment is being activated. This is very important. 